Our first guest tonight is an exuberant man of many talents who adds investigative journalists to his curious resume in his new show called The Hunt for the Trump Tapes with Tom Arnold. Release the tapes! Release the tapes! Release the tapes! You're the one that perpetuated this. Donald Trump is this brilliant billionaire deal maker, Mark Burnett, with your show, The Apprentice. So step up and do something or say something. <laughs> the Hunt for the Trump Tapes debuts September 18th on Viceland. Please welcome Tom Arnold. Thank you. <laughs> you are really fired up. What have you gotten yourself into? Well, you know, I mean, it started, uh -huh. you know, uh, it's always about, but it, the whole thing is saying knock it off. To you know, to, to Donald Trump. Oh, okay. knock what off, his hair? Well, it, it, <laughs> you know, I've known the guy 30 years. Have you, do you really know him or is it one of those things where like, I know every, I, unfortunately, things. I know everything. Oh, you do? Yeah, I've known him 30 years, okay. did, a, did an HBO special at his place at Trump Castle 30 years ago, so I did some business with him. Uh, and then he was on the sports show, best head sports show period. I've been to the Playboy Mansion with him, mm -hmm. and I wasn't the creepy guy. Like, I have a history with this guy, <laughs> and he's fine, and you know a little bit about him, and he is what he is. But then, but then all of a sudden, back in uh, 2011, I turned on the team. By the way, he would call my house with Mark Burnett and, and beg me to do The Apprentice. Now, let me explain The Apprentice. The Apprentice is such a crappy show that I wouldn't do it. <laughs> like, that, like, that is, like, that is, like, like for real. That says a lot, because I do everything. You would have so, been good on that show. Yeah, I, well, I would have yeah. been, yeah. yeah. So anyway, I turn on the TV, uh, 2011, and there's Donald Trump, and he's saying that Barack Obama was not born here. And right. so, and by the way, Barack Obama, if you know his life story, it's very similar to mine. You, like, I, I have a you guys, You're almost the same guy, really. For, for, no, <laughs> but for real. Like, he, his mom was from uh, Wichita, Kansas, mm -hmm. and my mom is from Ottawa, Iowa, and his mom raised him by herself, and my mom abandoned me. But other than that, <laughs> you know, I mean, but for real, like, I always felt the bond because Barack Obama, he, spent, he lived with his grandparents from, from, they were from Kansas, and his grandpa looked just like my grandpa, for real. Uh -huh. And I know, if you have a weird family, you know, he was black, and I didn't have a mom, and I knew that that grandpa defended him, for real, Jimmy. Your grandpa? I, yeah, mm -hmm. and his grandpa defended him. And, it, and I, I saw Donald Trump, who, who's one of these a-holes that's like, Barack Obama's <laughs> president, and he's like, I'm a rich guy, I'm gonna ruin everything. He wasn't born here, how about that? Right. And I'm like, but if his grandpa was alive, by the way, he waited till his grandpa was dead before he said it, because his grandpa would have said, I'm gonna kick your ass, Donald Trump, for saying that about my kid, right? Obama's right? Grandpa. of course. Right, of course, course. he would have. Yeah. And so he kept doing it, and I called Mark Burnett that day, I said, what are you gonna do about this? Oh. That guy's on TV saying that, that Barack Obama wasn't born here, and nobody did anything about it. Was this when The Apprentice was on? Yes, it was. Oh, it was, okay. And so I have, uh, sorry. So that was a, <laughs> well, that's, come on. That's ridiculous. So that's the first time I said, knock it off. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, he's going along, and he's not going to be the president, Jimmy. Uh -huh. And then the apprentice, uh, the, uh, the Access Hollywood take comes out. Well, that'll do him in. And it does it. And I'm, I'm on the phone doing an interview for stand-up comedy. And I said, you know what? I, as a matter of fact, I've seen this compilation tape. By the way, if you're on one of these reality shows, uh, you, you know, the, the crew has fun. And there's compilation tapes of me doing horrible, disgusting things, of course, because uh -huh. I do horrible, disgusting things. But I'm also not running for president, OK? Well, and I yet. should. Yeah. I should. Absolutely not. And I said, oh, I remember this tape I saw, and I described it exactly. He says the N word. He calls Eric the R word. He, I went through it exactly. I his said, son. His son, Eric. Yes. Yeah. I said, there, this, and that, now they call it the N word tape. You know, I have friends that work on that show. There's friends that I have, and I explained exactly, and so this becomes the story. Right. Now, this is still going, today, this week, uh, uh, people are talking about the Edward tape, and people have questioned me, and, and, and it's gone on this whole time. You know who does, there's two people that have never called me a liar for, about the Edward tape. Who? Donald Trump uh -huh. and Mark Burnett, uh -huh. because they know it's true. They absolutely know it's true. That, uh, this show, and so I'm going along and I'm doing this stuff, and when, when I started talking about it, uh, other big journalists, Jane Mayer, 
uh, David Court, Michael Lissikoff are on my show. These are legitimate people. I'm a crazy person, you know that. Yes. But I also know. We're getting a sense of that I right now. I know everything. Of <laughs> <laughs> Do you think? Can I ask you about this tape? Because I've been saying to you, you know, we're friends. I'm like, where? I want to hear this tape. Where you will. is this tape? It's you'll, been, you'll, you'll, you keep saying you will. Uh, when? When he's like retired? It's, listen, you know. Listen. Yeah. Every every tape. You know, I, I let me say number, number one. Uh, what's happened this week is yesterday he tweeted, my friend Mark Burnett, and he tagged Mark Burnett, will back me up that there is no Edward Tate. Right. Well, today, I'm waiting for his friend Mark Burnett. By the way, Mark Burnett is an MGM board member. Okay. Came to me last week, and, and he said to me, uh, 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 he said, you know, I'm so worried about this. And, and he said, uh, Mark Burnett told me, do not talk about it. Because I'm the most powerful man in show business. Uh, Donald Trump is my best friend. So their board members of MGM are scared about this. But Mark Burnett, as again, correct me if I'm wrong, he specifically said, I do not support Donald Trump's presidency. No, 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 no. He hasn't done anything. He hasn't done, there are children that, uh, that have been imprisoned at the border. You understand? Mark Burnett has a show called Survivor. They go to all these crazy countries. They find people all over the world. He could send a crew right to the border right now. Those children, they can't locate their parents. They're in Central America. He specializes in Central America. Mark Burnett could do something. He does nothing. But wait a minute. Why is, why is it Because he's the job? best friend of the... Uh, the uh, president. But he wait. sits next to him at a prayer breakfast. Do something. But what does he have to do with the border, though, Mark Burnett? But that's what his skill. Oh. That's his best friend. If oh. you're going to be the best, let's tell you something. Uh, the I thing don't about think the, they're best friends. Though. No, they are literally best friends. I don't think Donald Trump has friends. No, no. Okay. <laughs> but but here's the truth about Donald yeah. Trump that I've known from day one. He is incompetent. And if you know The Apprentice, if you worked on it. They take that show, they edit it, he's incompetent. He's not even the, the smartest Trump on the set sometimes. <laughs> in fact, many times. <laughs> and, and Mark Burnett has protected him because he won't release that <laughs> tape. But we're getting the whole, I want to see it one day. If you can see one day of Donald Trump on that set, one full day, you'll realize, oh my God, that's what's going on. Why is he's incompetent? He is racist. He sexually harasses people. They edited it into a 20 minute show, uh, 20 minutes of the boardroom set. But if you could see the full thing, you'd realize, oh You've my God, that's it. what's going on. Absolutely, I've seen it. What? I've seen it all, and you will see it. Because legally, they have to tape him anytime the producers talk to him because the FCC, it's a requirement. What? Because they can't, you have to tape. If a producer talks to a host. Because it's a game show. Yes. Right, I and see. And so legally, it's, it's on a hard drive in, in MGM TV. They have uh, it. And you're going to be our next see. attorney general. No, but let me tell you that's something. That's what I see happening. Let me tell you something. Yeah. There, there's horrible, th right now he's trying to fire every member of the FBI and the Justice Department to protect him. Yes, he I know. He is. He has a thing with Putin. If you don't see it, he's giving away our country. If that's not a problem for Let's you... Let's take a break, and I want to hear and about... And there's this. a pee-pee tape. That's what I want to yeah, hear right about here. when we come back. Tom Arnold yeah, is right here. here. We'll be right back. Tom, these yeah. Russia tapes, you believe they exist, or you, well, you, know, you know I, I they uh, exist? First of all, anything... <laughs> You know, the great thing about doing this stuff with Donald Trump is you can say anything, accuse him of anything, and in his mind, he's like, I may have done that. First of all, <laughs> when, the, when, the Steele, when the Steele dossier came out, when it first came out and he read it, like on the first day of the presidency, he's like this. Oh, it says here that I, uh, oh, the uh, PP tape. Yeah, that wouldn't happen because I'm a germaphobe. And then we find out he's raw dog Goldie's porn stars. <laughs> what kind of a, that's not even, I mean, come on. I'm a germaphobe, but yet I do that, so I, that's not going to hold up in court, is it? Yeah. So, uh, all right. Yeah, but yeah, it, but, yeah I, I lived in Moscow at the Ritz Carlton in 2015, the summer. Same place that all this went down with Donald Trump. The producer of the, the guy that financed the movie, friend of Donald Trump, Russian oligarch. There's so many coincidences. That's why I have to do this, because our lives over. The Are fact you that, The worried? fact that I am involved in such a big deal with the president tells you that he should not be president, okay? <laughs> For real. The fact that I know. Tom Arnold, everybody. The hunt with the Trump tapes with Tom Arnold debuts September 18th at, on Viceland. Yeah. I, I cannot wait to see yeah, it. Yeah, it's going to be. Thank you for being here. We'll be okay. right back. Thanks for watching. If you liked that video, click the subscribe button. And if you didn't like it, well, you hurt my feelings. <laughs>